and Russia is a nuclear power. China will not bend her knee. The Chinese in Singapore will, but not China. And China is a nuclear power. But this imposter state of Israel and the Jewish Christian Zionist alliance which created it are proceeding with a the only word I could use is pig-headed obsession pig-headed obsession no reason at all in their thinking obstinate obsession that we have to rule the world and so you don't need a PhD to understand that we're moving in the direction of an enormous collision between this alliance which now rule the world the, I call them the barbarians who now rule the world and on the one hand and Russia and China and their allies on the other it cannot be avoided no not when you have people who are obsessed and cannot think cannot reason they're acting like robots that collision is going to witness thousands of nuclear weapons exploding in the world by my calculation and of course when I give my opinion I can be wrong by my calculation we probably have only another 20-25 years left and some would say Imran you being too optimistic is much less than that before this collision takes place before this great war takes place which will be mutually destructive hmm? when, a, when a nuclear bomb explodes as happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki it creates a mushroom cloud so when thousands of nuclear weapons explode my view is that that is going to be the Dukhan that the Prophet spoke of alayhi salatu wasalam that one of the major signs of the last day you know there are ten of them one of them is Dukhan or smoke and I notice that the Christians have in their scriptures belief that in the last stage there will come a time when there will be three days of darkness you won't see the sun for three days mm -hmm. what then is Islam's view of the end of history we share with Christians and with Jews the same belief in the origin except that we say that both of them disobeyed Allah not the woman and then she seduced the man not the Quran says no both of them and if both of them were in error he has a greater responsibility than her because Allah taught him وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا we share with them the belief that when Nabi Dawood alayhi salam lived and created the state of Israel and Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam built the masjid we share with Christians and with Jews the belief that that was a golden moment in history when that state of Israel, holy Israel became the ruling state in the world and it's confirmed in the Quran the dua of Nabi Sulaiman alayhi salam when he prayed to Allah O oh Allah kindly grant me a state which cannot be rival in history Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu salam said to his companions one morning the time of Fajr he said last night I had a fight with Iblis and I overpowered him 
and I want him to tie him to the pillars of the masjid so when you came to the masjid for Fajr you'd see him but then I remembered the dua of Suleiman alayhi salam and I had to release him hmm? Muslims also believe that history is moving towards a climax, towards an end. And we share with Christians and with Jews the belief that history is going to climax in Jerusalem, in the Holy Land. We believe with the Christians and with the Jews that Allah is going to send the Messiah. <laughs> And that Messiah is going to rule the world from Jerusalem. The Christians believe that. The Jews believe that. The Muslims believe that. How come CNN doesn't tell us this? Huh? It's a common belief between Christians, Jews and Muslims. History is not going to end in Bharat, in India. <laughs> History is going to end here in the Holy Land. We share with Christians that that Messiah who is coming came already once. He was the son of Mary, Nabi Isa salam. And that he will come again. The, the Christians believe that he died and was resurrected and then went up into the heavens we say no he never went into the heavens <laughs> no and he never died no Allah made it appear like that but the only way you would know what happened is if you come to the Quran no other way like the only way you would know what happened to Pharaoh when he was drowning is if you come to the Quran no other way that Allah made it appear like that but no they did not kill him no they did not crucify him and Allah raised him raised him where not into heaven no sir I hope the Christians who are listening to this lecture in the days ahead of us would look at the Muslim viewpoint that Allah created the material universe ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع السماوات that having created the material universe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then created seven samawat seven different worlds of space and time or what the what the scholars of physics call seven parallel universes different worlds of space and time and we had a taste of it just last month this is Shaban last month was Rajab and last month we had the Isra and Miraj which was into the Samawat not the heavens the Samawat hmm? and he's going to come back Christians believe he's coming back and Muslims believe that he's coming back. The Muslim view is that the return of Nabi Isa Islam is close. Close. This is the book that explains that subject, Jerusalem in the Quran. By my calculation, and I can be wrong, we probably have only another 25, 30, 35 years left. But there are those who criticize me and say, no, it's much less than that. <laughs> It's much less than that. Before the true Messiah returns, Islam has a view of the end of history, which is of supreme importance. And only a Muslim can explain the world today. A Jew cannot do it. A Christian cannot do it, a Hindu cannot do it, a Buddhist cannot do it, 